Hi, this is Grace Pamela with Summerana.com, and this is a preview and tutorial of the new Summerana Sky Skywriter. And this is a brush and action collection, and it is available at Summerana.com. So I'm going to be showing you a quick example of what all is included. Uh, I have also the Summerana Skies Overlay Action Collection. Um, that I used one of the clouds from that collection, so there are plenty of clouds to choose from if you want to also purchase that collection. But for now, we're going to be showing the um, Summer on the Sky Skywriter. So the first thing that you want to do is go to the Skywriter applicator and then press play. And this is after you, you've already downloaded your brush and you've already installed your actions. And I also have tutorials for that um, available on my page if you would like to see that. Okay, so it says, before we begin, make sure the Summer on the Sky overlay or image you would like to add your sky writing to is selected. Click continue if it is already selected, and it is, so I'm going to press continue. Now that you have your layer, make sure your Skywriter brush is selected from your brush preset manager and paint your message directly on the layer with a soft white paintbrush. So, I already have my brush selected, so I have my... Um, Skywriter brush right here and I have my brush selected and I have my layer selected. So I'm going to go ahead and draw on a quick, quick example. So you can write or draw anything you'd like. Um, I'm just going to do a heart for now but it's a lot of fun because for engagement sessions you can write marry me and um, you can do this with your couples beforehand and they don't even have to hire an expensive jet or anything. Just go ahead and do it yourself and clients will love it. Okay, so along with writing your message and drawing it with the brush, um, you can change your sky writing perspective. And to do that, all you do is pull out and then it looks like it's more um, realistic. And you can also pull down to make it go up more. And then just click the check mark. And also, if you, I want to explain the layer mask really quick. If you make a mistake, let's say you didn't want the heart, instead of starting all over again, you can just double click the layer mask and change to a black brush, which erases. And you might want to choose a default one so you're not erasing with the cloud brush. And then you can just erase it and then start all over again. Or let's say you like this part, but you want to start off from here and, you know, write love or something like that. But for now, I'm just going to leave it. And then to paint back on, you change to white and you can paint it back on. You can also blur your sky writing. Again, make sure your actual layer is selected and not the layer mask when you're running these actions. You can blur it and you can make it look a little more... Um, realistic that way too if your subject is more in focus. You can also blur your sky writing more. That's a little too much but that's because I've already blurred it. And you can also refill the jet and this will make it more bold um, if it's not already bold enough. Sometimes if you have a lighter sky it's a little harder to see so that's when refill the jet will come in handy. And you also have um, different tools that can help you along the way. You can zoom in, zoom out, make a new snapshot. I like to make snapshots all the time. So let's say um, you just go to window and make sure your history is checked. And then you have your history right here or wherever you have it on your palette over here. And then you click make a snapshot. And then I can always refer to it. So if I don't, I'm not sure if I want to use this one or if I want a different one, then I can keep that snapshot but go back to the original and then start all over and make a different one. And then I can do another snapshot of that one and I'll have a, a bunch of different looks and then when I'm all finished playing around with it I like to go back and click all the different snapshots just to see which one I like the best. That's usually how I do it. It's a lot of fun that way and it's easier. And you can also zoom in, fit on screen, flatten image. Let me zoom out real quick. Uh, so you can see flatten image, it's already flattened, resize for web, and then web sharpening. And it makes it super sharp for the web. And there you go. There you have the preview and tutorial of the Sum Summerana Skywriter. And this is a brush and action collection. If you'd like to purchase it or take a look at it, um, you can see us at summerana.com. Thank you.